the Department of Transportation and Communications is firm about their decision of increasing the LRT MRT fare with an additional 11 pesos in boarding the trains, plus additional 1 peso for every kilometer travel, despite the people's protest. Director of Operations Division of the MRT3 Depot, Renato San Jose, said that the public consultation about the fare hike last December 12 went well and was attended by different sectors. Kahit wala pang fare hike, patuloy naman ang improvement ng LRT at MRT. In fact, uh, na-discuss yan nung public hearing na kahit na wala pang proposal, yung DOTC ay nasa proseso na ng pagbili ng mga bagong tren para sa MRT. At nandun na rin yung pag-construct ng bagong mga linya ng LRT Line 1 papunta ng Cavite at ng Line 2 papunta ng Masinag. So, basically, ang pinaka dahilan ng pagtaas ng pasahe ay para mabawasan yung subsidy na binibigay ng gobyerno sa operations ng LRT at saka ng MRT. He also said that there is no definite date yet on when the fare hike will be implemented. However, an LRT passenger, Jocelyn Escala, who commutes from EDSA to Balinduac stations of LRT Line 1, is not in favor of the additional fees for the LRT system. Siyempre hindi okay kasi maraming mga mahirap ang buhay ngayon tapos bakit siya tumaas, di ba? Partido ng Manggagawa spokesperson Wilson Fortaleza finds the situation very unfair because the government is just providing subsidy for the VIPs and never for the 70% of workers who use the LRT MRT every day and who receive less than the minimum wage. Subsidy is a must, and public transportation subsidy is one, is only one aspect of that kind of uh, subsidy that the government should provide to the people. Fortaleza said that the train problems in the country should be improved and should be rehabilitated in order to cater the transportation needs of the people. This is Clarice Martinez reporting.